Hi, and welcome back to Single Tooth Carving for Beginners. In this video, we'll be teaching you a basic carving method for a maxillary canine, with some useful tips and tricks for carving. What you'll need is a wax block, electron carver, a wax knife, a ruler, and optionally, a toothbrush to brush off the tooth after carving. First, you'll start by marking the sides of the wax block, B for buccal, M for mesial, L for lingual, and D for distal. Next, carve a vertical line at the center of each aspect using your electron carver. This will help you accurately plot your measurements on the wax block. Now you can start placing your measurements on each aspect using the electron carver and ruler. Let's start with the buccal aspect. Using the incisal edge of the wax block as reference, measure 10.5 mm at the center of the buccal aspect to mark the length of the crown. For the mesiodistal dimension of the crown, mark 4 mm on each side of the central line at the incisal edge. This adds up to 8 mm. The mesiodistal dimension of the crown at the cervical portion is 6 mm. Carve this by following the previously mentioned technique and plot 3 mm on each side of the vertical line. Next, extend 3 mm of the cervical portion of the crown to mark the root. After you set your measurements, use your lacron carver to draw the outline of the tooth. Keeping in mind that the mesial outline of the central incisor is straight, while the distal outline is more convex. Remember that the crest of curvature is located mesially on the incisal third and distally on the middle third. Repeat the same steps to carve an outline on the lingual aspect. Now you're ready to start carving. Start carving from the buccal aspect and move towards the lingual using a wax knife. Keep going until you have the mesial and distal outlines of both the buccal and lingual aspects. Once that is done, Draw a vertical line down the middle of the mesial and distal sides of the block. Next, mark 8 mm at the incisal edge for the labiolingual dimension. Lastly, mark 7 mm at the cervix. You are now ready to draw the tooth outline using your lacron carver. Keep in mind the shape of the crown from the mesial aspect labial outline being slightly convex, while the lingual outline is convex at the cingulum, concave at the mesial marginal ridge, then slightly convex at the incisal edge, where the outline as a whole begins curving towards the vertical line, creating a sharp incisal edge. Repeat the same steps for the distal aspect. Mark the curvature line from the cervix towards the crown at the vertical line at 2.5 mm mesially and 1.5 mm distally. This represents the cemento enamel junction. Now, you can start carving the mesial and distal aspects. Use your wax knife for initial carving, then move on to using the lacron carver for smoother finishing. Now, use your lacron carver to carve the distal and mesial sides of the temporary cingulum until you form a prominent cingulum. Use the spoon end of the lacron carver to carve out the mesial and distal lingual foci and marginal ridges. Make sure the ridges are higher than the fossa. To carve the labial ridge, draw a line at the center of the labial surface, then carve from the mesial and distal sides until you have a prominent labial ridge. After doing so, you can begin carving out the mesial and distal slopes of the labial cusp. Remember that the mesial slope of the cusp is shorter than the distal slope. This is how your final tooth should look like. Keep in mind that it's okay not to get it right from the first time. You can make mistakes and remember, practice makes perfect. Hope you found this video helpful. 